Hi guys, it's Tony. Um, if you've ever, uh, if you're watching this video, you know how distressing um, having a sickly pet is. Now, cats go out and they come back and sometimes they go quiet and also it's mainly because they've, they've eaten something or they've got a fur ball or, or it could be anything. And these, unfortunately, unlike dogs where you can control you could control them, cats just roam around, there's nothing worse. Um, he goes quiet from time to time, but I'm going to show you the importance of getting water into your animal, whether it's a dog or whether it's a cat. Now, cats, as you know, like all animals, they're selective about what they eat and what they don't like eating, but they, it is so important to get water into them. So this is what I do, right? So I'll get, I'll get him like that, simple as that, right, so I'll get some water like that, now this is just a normal syringe, this, this was given to me by a pet, a vet, not a pet, and you literally have to inject it straight into the mouse, just do it slowly, open up like that, right, there you go, sometimes you might have to open up, right, so, you see, just like that. And he'll there. Uh, he might squibble a bit, but you literally straight up like that. There you go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him down. If you can't do it this way. Okay, guys. So sometimes the best thing is just to sit down with a cat, open his mouth. Now it'll be it'll be a bit like oh no, bloody hell. But what you do is just open up like that, and just give him a bit at a time. A little bit, then lick it out. See, watch him, watch him gulp it. Get it all down. Do you ever thought, watch that Harry Potter film where Harry Potter had to force water down his mouth? <laughs> I can't remember what scene it was with, is it Gandalf? No, Gandalf. Um, and that's it. All right, so. That means he's got the water in him. Um, it's as simple as that. And now, and that'll sort of get him away. So I'll show you. He's now, he's starting to perk up a bit now. And what'll happen now is once he's got the water in him, that'll start to clear any other res anything that he's eaten. Um, and also it'll just help, obviously with water, you mean you can, a cat's gonna, for days without food, but you have to get water into them, otherwise it really affects the kidneys and everything else, as you well know. It's the same with humans. We can live without food for a week, but not without water. So it's just a little tip, guys. Just a little syringe. Just put sort of that much worth of water in and give it, reg give it to your cat or your pet, your dog or your cat regularly, and you'll find it does work wonders. It, it, it really has saved me probably two cats um god knows how many vet veterinary bills and they would have just done the same um and it really does work guys and not you know simple syringe keep it in you and you know because it's just a little thing but it can it can really really save your pet if anything happens like that because there's so many things around for cats you just don't know what they've picked up anyway i hope this helped catch you later bye